Greetings everyone, I'm Larry Williams, the director for the Center for the Advancement of Research Methods and Analysis, or CARMA, at Wayne State University, and I also am the instructor for an intermediate structural equation modeling course that focuses on model evaluation. And with this video, I just want to chat a little bit about that course. Uh, as you may know, structural equation modeling is a very uh, prominently used analytical technique in the social and organizational sciences. And of all the different aspects involved in using this particular technique, uh, the one that is most challenging for everybody, uh, authors, reviewers, editors, uh, the biggest challenge is making the judgment about whether you have a good model or not. Uh, and there's a lot of misunderstandings that exist related to this. For example, you might su assume uh, that just because a model, uh, there's evidence that a model has uh, adequate fit through the properly used goodness of fit measures that uh, many or most of its parameters would be statistically significant. That's not true. Also, you might think that as you look at a model, just because most, most of the paths in that model are statistically significant, that that means that it's a good model. And that is not true. So model evaluation is a very complex kind of process. And what I try to do in this short course is um, help organizational researchers develop a perspective and an approach that they can take while looking at their particular data. So towards that end then we begin with understanding parameter estimation uh, because understanding parameter estimation it is the parameter estimation process and the paths that are left out of models that drive the goodness of fit measures. So you really can't understand goodness of fit without understanding what goes on during the parameter estimation process. From there, we'll talk about uh, the logic and the formulas that uh, underlie some of the most popular uh, fit measures that are used. And we'll talk about their strengths and weaknesses and what they tell you and what they don't tell you. And we'll talk a lot about uh, the practice of using certain uh, standards in a very rigid way, uh, which is something that's happening increasingly in organizational research. From there, we'll talk about how the measurement model part of a model really drives, can drive overall the conclusion that one reaches. And we'll talk about different approaches that a researcher can take to isolate uh, the fit of their measurement model as compared to the fit of the path component of their model. And this can occur through particular model evaluation strategies, as well as uh, focusing on uh, specific alternative goodness of fit measures that focus more on the path component. Uh, one of the things we'll talk about when we talk about fit measures is that it's a real challenge uh, to condense a wide range of information into a single number. And so we'll really talk about kind of a broader based view of model evaluation uh, that includes several kinds of components, including the analysis of residuals. And uh, so as we go through this particular short course, uh, as before, there will be, or as is true of all of our courses, uh, we try to get an even mix of um, uh, lecture and hands-on activities. Um, and for this course, I should add that it is assumed that you, that anybody who attends will have some uh, introductory level experience uh, in working with structural equation modelings and some comfort uh, in working with a particular software package. Uh, I do have some examples that people can use, but we really, uh, in this intermediate class, encourage people to bring their own data so that during the lab or the exercise part of it, they can be making progress on their own uh, substantive research. So, um, uh, in addition to teaching introduction to structural equation and advanced structural equation modeling uh, here at Wayne State, uh, my own research focuses on applications of structural equation modelings and particularly different aspects of judging model fit. So for me it's a great opportunity as I teach this course to merge my research and my teaching interests. Uh, I've offered this course many times over the years and very much enjoy it and I think people come away from it uh, having a much better understanding of 
of the overall structural equation modeling uh, perspective and approaches and also they come away with some guidance as to how to better analyze their research. So I hope you find it of interest. You can find some more information on our website and if you have any questions just contact me directly. Thanks.